Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, dear students, uh, today we learn about the deadlock, and the deadlock has basically the four conditions to fulfill, uh, called health, called Havender's conditions. Now, one is uh, that there should be mutual exclusion. No two uh, guys should enter the critical section simultaneously. Second thing is there should be hold and wait. Uh, one, you, you, you are holding one and you're asking for something. And number third, there should be no preemption. Once you hold that, you can't be preempted, so uh, so that you you can release that. If you release that, then it's not a deadlock at all. It may be starvation. Uh, it may take time, but if if if, if it is getting executed um, eventually, then it's not a deadlock. And uh, the next thing uh, for condition is the circular way that uh, it should come back. This it should be it should be in, in a sort of sort of, sort of a circle, okay, uh, in sort of sort of some sort of cycle. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Is uh, we have I'm creating some objects. One is a pen uh, of type object class and static. I mean static of the pen and static of the copy of type new objects. And we know that this is uh, how we create the objects. Now uh, basically the, we got uh, here private static class thread one. I got static class thread one because uh, I'm using them in a static method. So let me create them static classes so that I don't need any instances. Uh, and so on. Um, so, if you are wondering what is static in the math uh, in the class, uh, you should refer to my video on the static. And now, uh, private static class thread one, which extends thread, and I got a, I got a private uh, static class thread two, which ex also extends thread. So, I got a couple of classes: private static class uh, thread two and private static class thread one. What's happening here is, uh, we we uh, if it extends the thread, we need to. Uh, uh, we need to run have a run method or a run method and there I'm having a synchronized block this is uh, where, where we lock something okay and we don't relinquish lock uh, you know until this block is not over we're not gonna leave uh, to the synchronized block is from here to here uh, here to here okay this this is this uh, synchronous block and I'm not gonna leave it unless this is not finished so if I'm holding something here I'm not going to release it unless uh, I'm not out of this, uh, or, or there's no weight. If there is a weight, maybe I will lose the lose the lock. But if there's no weight, uh, I'm no way leaving the lock. Okay? This is uh, the mutually exclusive block. Uh, no two threads can similarly access it. Number one, and uh, you you are not going to relinquish it. No preemption. It's the condition deadlock. There's no preemption. I I'm not going to release this lock unless I'm not finished. Okay? Or explicitly saying something like wait and all, then maybe I will lose a lock. But he, in this case, I'm not going to lose lock unless this whole block is finished. And this outer block, synchronous block, is outer block is here up to this one. And it, I, I'm, I'm locking on the pen, so that means I'm holding a pen. Now that's why I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I'm holding a pen. Now you sleep a bit, okay? After holding a bit, you sleep a bit, so that what will happen is uh, this class thread two, where in the run. We again have the same stuff, same style, synchronize a block, which is from here on here, right? But it's holding a copy. So when you hold a pen, you sleep a bit, and uh, because we're going to start both the threads, and this will get a chance to get a copy. Now, one guy has taken a pen, and another guy has taken a copy. Now, I'm not going to lose the pen unless I'm not finished it. But here, after I woke up sleeping, I'm asking for, waiting for copy. I'm asking for copy. I'm trying to lock the copy here. Okay, this is the inner single block copy. It's not printed on holding copy, but the problem is the copy is being already being hold by this guy, and this guy has hold the copy and is asking for the pen. I'm, I'm trying to lock on the synchronized pen. I'm saying uh, holding pen, but waiting for the pen. I'm, I'm trying to hold the pen, uh, but the problem is pen is being hold by this guy. So this will not leave the pen unless it's the whole stuff is finished. I'm not gonna uh, release the pen. Unless I don't get a lock on the copy here, and I got the both of the guys, and then I say uh, that this message holding copy or do some competition of copying and all that, and release the lock on the copy. This is the inner synchronous lock, and then release the lock on the pen and finish. But the problem is when I, I, I have a, a hold of the pen, okay, I'm asking for a copy, but that, that copy is being hold by someone else, and it's waiting that uh, for the pen, which is being hold by the third one. The third one is holding the pen and asking for the copy, and third two is holding the copy and asking for the pen. So it, th this guy will not release the copy unless it doesn't get the pen, and this guy doesn't release the pen unless it doesn't get the copy. So it's a circular 
sort of wait. Okay, there is no preemption. This cross block will not finish, uh, so there's no preemption anyway. So this thread one is waiting for thread two to release the copy, and thread two is waiting for the pen, uh, waiting for pen uh, which is being taken by the thread one. So it's a perfect condition of deadlock. If I give it a go, you will see that I'm saying that we will hold a pen, okay, holding a copy and holding a pen. Thread one and thread two, they have holding things. Now thread one, uh, basically thread two. Thread, this is a thread two, which is which is asking for the pen now, waiting for the pen. Uh, and this one is waiting for the copy. So this guy thinks the copy will be free. I will get the copy and finish, and pen guy will. Uh, think that pen will be free and uh, I, I will finish but this never happens so they are in a perfect state of deadlock okay that's all for this deadlock